Hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. It's Eric from the MMG. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe or follow button right now. To help us keep growing the community and making these videos for you free of charge. Today we're looking at Myth of Empires. This is a game with a very colorful and unique history. Um, it, it was released on Steam, it got sued, it got pulled from Steam, it's back on Steam, and now they're doing a 1.0 release. I actually played this when it very first came out years ago and really liked it quite a bit. Me and uh, a few of my buddies hopped in, and you can see I have almost 50 hours into the game and had a lot of fun, and we didn't even touch like the end game at all. So um, definitely a fun game. I, I definitely enjoyed it. Now let's show you how to create your own dedicated server. Um, this one, you just you launch Myth of Empires itself. So once you've made the purchase on Steam, you want to launch the game. All right, once you get to the main screen here, you just need to go to Custom Server. And then down here at the bottom, there's a Create Server option. And it's going to pop up the private server tool for you. Um, from here, you can set your map. There's Eastern, Mainland, and Central. So that's your start console. What you want to do is come up here to Basic Settings. And you can actually name your server. So we want this to be the MMG password. Password, put in whatever you want. We'll put in password. Hello world, right? And this is where you can set if you want PVE or PV, PVE or PVE. So if we want to do PVP, we put it on a zero. PVE is a one. Player limit, how many players can join the server. Send announcements. I think that sends it when they log in, if I remember correctly. Game difficulty. Don't know too much about this. I would leave it at default one personally. Anti cheat, you can leave that on. Vac ban on. Start server in P2P mode. Um, I'd probably leave these on default unless you have a reason to turn it off. Your server ID number here, cluster ID. I don't think you need to change that unless you're hosting multiple servers. And I don't cover that in this video because I don't do that. Uh, game port. So this is important. And then your uh, Q port here. You do want to change those to something that you have open. So on your firewall and router, or you want to make it something that you can remember that you can open up so you can use it later on. Remote manage IP, that's if you want to be able to control the server from a different IP address. You would put that IP address in here. This is your loopback. So um, probably just want to leave it to default for most people. This is the port for that. Same thing. Uh, GM account, and then it actually will def should default to your current Steam ID, which will make you a GM in the game. So I would probably leave that as default too. This is if you want to enable logs. It's always a good idea if you need to troubleshoot. That's your settings, the basic server settings. Next up, you can do like all kinds of stuff here in advanced. NPC wildlife, timers, all this stuff is world world settings that you can change and manipulate. So you can do all that you want. Main, for If you want it to be the base game though, you're not going to change any of those pretty much other than the basic settings to customize it to your own. Then when you're done, you come down to uh, start console and you want to save the config first. All right, so we've saved it and now we want to start the server. We're going to hit start server. It says yes, click start server dot bat. So it's going to actually open it to the folder. And here is our folder with the game. And we want to click this start server dot bat to execute the server. It should pop up a window for you. And it should ask me if I want to allow this. Yes. This is my Windows firewall you're lying through. And then here's the command window propped up where it's actually starting the server itself. All right. So once it's done loading, and it could take a little bit. All, all depends on your system. You should see some messages similar to this. Uh, load data, store, subsystem, and the time it took to load it. So once you're there, you should be good. You should now be able to see your server. So you want to go back to the Myth of Empire screen. So leave all that up. You don't want to close that. That's your server running. And you want to go back. Now we're going to go to, well, sorry. We're going to go back to custom servers. And now we're going to search for your server. So mine was called MMG. There we go. We just searched for it. And there it is on the list. And other players are going to be able to search for this, find it, and join it. Like I said, if they're not able to see it, you probably need to open some ports on your firewall and router at your home network level. All right, thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helped you out. Hopefully you can get started in your Myth of Empires journey. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that follow button. Have yourself a good day.